Parents and lawmakers have focused their attention on TikTok when it comes to privacy. But WeChat may actually be a bigger security risk. Lydia Hu with me this morning. OK, what's the problem with WeChat? Censorship misinformation, disinformation, concerns about all of that circulating on the app. So you're right. While there is a lot of conversation over regulating TikTok, the WeChat app is just as troubling for privacy and free speech advocates. So what is WeChat? It's China's super app, and it's developed by a Chinese company called Tencent. It's a one-stop app for communication, shopping, groceries, news, even transportation needs. It connects billions of Chinese speakers around the world, including nearly 20 million monthly active users right here in the United States. So the problem, many say, is that WeChat routinely censors content on topics ranging from the pandemic to human rights abuses. We spoke with one U.S. resident who was suspended for six months after posting news stories about COVID that undermined China's zero COVID policy. A lot of independent WeChat public account blogger like me have been shut down by WeChat in the past, especially accelerated in the past two or three years. It's a strong indication that WeChat censor public account for the favor of the Chinese Communist Party. And here's an example for you, Stuart, of WeChat's influence. It's documented by the Atlantic Council. WeChat accounts were allowed to amplify narratives that were critical of the Conservative Party in Canada just ahead of its 2021 parliamentary election. And a Conservative Party member that was seeking re-election, well, he lost. And it's believed that the misinformation spread about him on the app is to blame. Experts say this shows just how this app shapes worldviews with profound consequences. Imagine that all the American social media was wrapped up into one app, what people think of the United States, what people think of the war in Ukraine, what people think of COVID, all that information is distorted. Now, the company Tencent pointed me to a statement that says it has no editorial control over what's posted on the app. And because there are now talks to ban WeChat, Tencent also added that, quote, banning WeChat would only result in a less connected digital environment that harms all. But, Stuart, some states, just like they're moving to ban TikTok, some states are also banning access to WeChat as well now. And I can see why. Lydia, thank you very much.